What's going on, guys? It's your boy Husto T back here with Sable, fresh off finishing Mafia 2. That was a great gameplay. If you didn't watch it, I suggest you start from the beginning and watch it. It was pretty fun. But we're here with Sable. Last time we was here, um, we was doing shit with Saizo to help our bike. I don't necessarily know what we're about to do next, but I hope you, um, if you're a returning viewer but not a subscriber, I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, here we are with Saizo. What did you want, Saizo? Saizo looks busy. I should leave her to it. Okay. What was our objective? Man, I hate when that happens. Um, what are we doing here? I should speak to JD about the final gliding. Oh, cool. All right, yeah, yeah. Let's go talk to um, Mama JD. Uh, how are you running this game again? No, 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 no. What the ham biscuits? Oh, I'm tripping, Brett. What? All right, all right. Get it together. JD, Jody. I returned to her with a new lightness, and it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Saizo gave it to me. Then you must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow in of thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the mass caster in no time. I try to think about going to a mass caster, but it seems impossible and possibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. I know, I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you come out there, when you're out there. And once you, why do I start off reading terribly every time? Oh my goodness. And you've got three alike. You can trade it in for the mask. But don't feel like, but don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Um, only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. How will I choose? Which one should I choose? You'll have to fill it out. But when you know, you'll know. Now, the sound of her now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all this done, there's only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door, that, that is face door, at the Temple of Rohana. There you'll assemble your, gl your gliding mask and go. There are things I wish to convey to JD here, depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made these. Hey! They are dyed with traditional Ibexi, Ibexi uh, maroon, and I hope... God fucking damn it, I can't read worth shit today. Oh my goodness, I hate how... Oh, did she say she loves me? That's nice. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin, and I am ready. Hold on, I want to put the new fit on. No, it's not what I wanted. Yeah, buddy, I want a new mask, though. This is bullshit. Um, I don't even know what to use that dye for. Okay, I knew it was for the bike, but I just don't know how to use it. Ah, uh, I should head for the temple to begin my gliding. All right, it's time to get. Oh, look at me, fresh to fucking death, boy. God damn. All right, um, where's my motherfucking bike at? That's not what I meant, actually. All right, I found it. Come on, bike, we gotta go to the face. Excuse me? I was like, damn. The face of Rohana. Here I come. This is not the right way. Didn't I try this already to get up here with my glider? Was it not impossible? Let's find out. That's not even... Wait. Maybe I don't need my glider. Oh, shit, it's open now. Ham biscuits, let's get out of here. Well, I'm climbing. I'm, I ain't got time for the stairs. My bad. Don't leave that door. Oh, and then close anything. Cool. All right. Uh, face thing. Oh, shit. What? 
What the ham? This felt like the end of a game. Like, it don't even feel like the beginning of a game. I, I can only assume I gotta press on them buttons. So I gotta figure out how to hit them buttons. Them buttons. Yeah. We'll figure this out. Hell yeah, I'm on your ass, boy. I'm on your motherfucking... I'm on your motherfucking ass, boy. Oh, dude! There go one. Put that mask on. Mask on. Fucking mad. But I said they gave me an opportunity not to go low. Where the next one at? I don't... I think I see it. And I think I see a way... Yeah, no, no, no. I think I still... Uh, yeah, climb up this. It's probably going to be one of the easier puzzles of this game. Things about to get harder and harder. Pause. Alright, cool. Oh, there's... Oh, well, I'll get this one, too. Motherfucker. Oh, come on, come on. Why this shit look so smooth today? I feel like I ain't looked this smooth last time I played. Who are you? Who is you? All right, boom. Oh, oh, cool. Put the hat bag on, cuz, yeah. Damn it. I didn't do what I wanted to do there. Where am I trying to head up to? Wasn't it? Yeah, it was up there. All right. Better catch it, you fucking whore. Alright, let me chill out with that. Now, uh, what am I expected to do here? Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Climb up. Alright, cool. Yeah. Where is right there? I'm on it. There we go, that's the fucking archer I saw earlier. And it's the last one, right? Well, I feel like something missing for the chin. Like this little, nope, not, nothing's missing. What you got to say? Okay. Oh, that's the mask? Oh. Oh no, that's the mask. Okay. Get my new mask. I want to put it on. I wanted to match my new swag, you know what I mean? Come on. You got this, matey. Oh, I guess I gotta go to it. Where's that? I went the wrong way. Boy, you tall as shit, ain't you? Yeah, what if I want your mask, cuz? Huh? What if I want your mask? Whatever. Alright, talk to the mask. I Bexy mask. Let's put that bling on. Yeah, yeah. Throw that on there. Throw that on me, cuz. Yeah, fuck yeah. Return to the camp. I was about to say, how the fuck? I was like, I'm not trying to solve a puzzle to get out of here, too. Hell yeah, cool. So let's get back to uh, JD and tell her that we did the thing. Where my bike at? I know I left it here. I guess I can't. That's not my bike no more. I mean, I'm cool with it. Fuck it. Let me just go as high as I can and then, you know, nah, I'll just do it from here. I have returned to the camp. What will happen now? Am I getting my new bike or no? What's that right there in the middle? Why is nobody here? 
are you the only thing that's going to tell me something? What, what's going on? Postbox logging in. Hello, Sable. JD's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still it warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There is a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that, I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weepily into her arms to stay forever, but I am ready. And, I, and so I close my eyes and listen, but, but through you... Oh, I'm sorry, but though you go by yourself, you are not without friends, you are not without family, you are not without love. These things will, uh, these things you will care always carry with you as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go up, I might go and see Utari. Okay, they're the machinists at Burnt Oak Station and among Saizo's closest friends. Utari's a good contact to have on once gl one's gliding and a fine way. And a fine way to get another Machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to the Ewer. Uh, so keep an eye on the post boxes and try not to forget us. She takes a long breath and I forget that things as easy as breathing could never could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. So yeah, we begin in the journey. That's what's up. Alone. What we doing, Sable? We just looking? Yeah, say goodbye. But what about my bike? Over here running and shit. Am I supposed to be controlling her now? Wait. Leave the canyon. Damn. Call out. What the fuck? Who did I just call out to? Oh, shit! <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The motherfucker said, "Did you woo -woo, woo? Yes, sir. I woo woo. God damn. All right, cool. That, uh, okay. That was tough. This flies way better, or glides. This glides way better. So we leaving. Look, how, look at what we leaving behind. This bullshit ass canyon, boy. Let's get the fuck out of here, boy. I ain't never looking back. Close this shit up so I can't come back either. Look at this. Just more of the same. They're like, yeah, keep your little ass out of here. Now they're not gonna close? Oh, shit. Are they Eiffel Tower in the bitch? What if that Jane was just like, the end? I'd have been pissed. <laughs> Alright, cool. Just the two of us was a trophy I just earned. I should speak to Uthari. We well, don't even know where Cuz is. Uh, burnt machinist, some bullshit. Where's our map at? It's, te it's, it's telling us this the place we gotta go. Let's go. The music is sweet. I'm gonna have to keep this in. I hope it's playing. Okay. All right, we're go we're on the right path. I guess we're getting close because the music getting uh, softer. Oh, you think you hard to reach. I'm going to get up there, my boy. You thought you thought this was difficult? I see you probably dealing with some pussies out here, buddy. I'm gonna make my way up there. Cause I'm a warrior. Let, 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 let Sable get her damn breath. There we go. Probably shouldn't have ran with it. Oh man. 
Cartographer's balloon. Yeah, is there? You know what I'm here for. Give me that damn fucking info on the balloon. I mean, uh, map. I need that. I'll be, it better be 50 like the last one was. I greet the cartographer shyly, a little cowed by how alone we are up here and how intimate that sometimes feels, despite it being so much a part of my gliding. She responds with what sounds like a warm smile. Hello there, glider. Thanks for taking the time to climb all the way up here. Surveying gets a little lonely sometimes, you know? I tell her I do. Given how lonely I can get on the sand sometimes, I hope that Simoon doesn't hear. So then, what is it you need? What's worth a look nearby? What are what other regions are nearby? Can I buy a map? Of course. What's this? Buy this. And it says a badge? Let's get that. Yeah, it took a badge. Thanks, Glider. Goodbye. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me about the regions. I asked what other regions are nearby. Glad you asked. Head south if you wish to see white sands of the wash. Oh, west you'll see Red Sea and its myriad, myriad, oh, I'm sorry, secrets. And to the east are the salt plains of the wet waste. Can I help you, Glider? What's worth a look nearby? I asked if there's worth a look. She chuckles to herself, of course. You don't think I'm standing up here for nothing, do you? Have you been have you been to the Great Wind Tower yet? Get up there and see what and get up there and you can see for ages. And Burnt Oak Station is close by as well. You'll never guess why it's called that. I think about it, but she goes on before I can shout my prediction. And if you're a fan of insects, there's a gigantic Hercules beetle nest nearby. You know, rumor has it. They can lift 100 times their own body weight. Can I help you, Glider? All right, cool. Let's just get out of here. Thanks. Damn, I couldn't just press circle, get out of here. All right, so where we got to go now? So we're heading that way. Wasn't there something else? Yeah, what's that over there? I kind of want to go over there, but I ain't got time. So I'm going to go see the person I'm supposed to be, see supposed to be seeing. Nah, fall down, cuz. Yeah, come, come on over, Glider. It better not come from any other way than from when it came, where it came from. Why is not pulling up on me this time? I know you hear me. Ooh, woo, woo. Yeah, yeah. What are you not coming for? Damn. Out here making me look like I ain't got control of what's going on in this situation. Oh, I ain't even see the new map. Damn. All right, cool. Let's make it over to the Machinus. This really looks like another camp over here. I guess we're about to figure out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know it's gonna come up at some point. It's gonna be like, welcome to this camp. Not welcome, but this is gonna say the camp that we're at. Say it. We already close enough, cuz. No? You don't wanna say this is burnt? Whatever the fuck you call it? Some horse shit. There we go, now it finally wants to say it. Yeah, let me park my shit right here. And you better not go nowhere. But would you get off? It's square, that's why. Yeah, let me rob y'all first. Oh, what's this? A narrow stalk stalk fig. Undoubtedly my favorite fruit. The first thing I would ask for them when we pre oh, okay, cool. I don't know you cuz I wanna pick up some other shit first. Put it down. Fuck that kid, I ain't talking to that kid. That's not what I meant. Oh, cool. I can get on. Oh, this one of the beetles they were talking about. I want a beetle. 
I want to get more shit first before I go talk to anybody. It's funny when the colors change like this. And seeing that I'm here, I guess I'll talk to this person. The mask caster sits unmoving, silent. Golly. I can't tell if the mask caster is human or something else. I've heard about mask casters and stories about glidings before. Gliders should collect three badges of a set and bring them to the caster for whom the mask shall be cast. I should look for some more badges. I'd leave the mask cutter. Caster. Okay. And the color just goes back to normal. Who was I here to see, though? I'm going go, I'm, I'm only talking to people in buildings because I feel like they're the more important people. Is this an elephant? No, nah, I thought this was based off an elephant right here. Oh, this has to be the Machinus right here. Oh, it's a guard. The guard <laughs> before me stands tall, her posture shaped by duty. Uniform weathered by years. Hello there, young glider. I'm nearly startled by the force of her greeting, but her voice is comforting somehow, warm and welcoming. I greet her with the accident <laughs> with the accidental enthusiasm of a traveler finding a friend. She smiles behind the mask, I think. Always nice to meet a fellow adventurer, especially now. How are you faring so far? This world is big and I feel very small. I've never felt more free. I need sleep. I've never felt more free is the option I picked. Oh, how lovely that must be. I might normally be a little jealous, but my circumstances are opening right, right up. I'm about to join you in that blissful freedom. Oh, I think about the balled up fabric and smoothed out rock that will make my next pillow and many to come. My neck aches faintly at the thought of how many nights I've spent away. It's possible I'm romanticizing a little bit. You see, I'm getting ready to leave on my second gliding. Nice. She reads the confusion in my silence. Did no one tell me of a second gliding? I suppose it isn't a real second gliding, but it's how I'm thinking about it. A chance to see the world again and how it's changed. I am ex I am an egg cream guard, you see, or I was an egg cream. Egg what? What is that? <laughs> As of three days ago, I am officially retired. You should have seen the way the others looked at me. There's a laugh in her voice. All of them were so baffled to see me go, telling me how much they missed the big... I didn't read it. I'm not going to lie. A few of them even felt sorry for me. Like, what would I do now that my life's purpose is complete? Can you imagine? I try to, but I can barely muster a view of my purpose start, let alone its end. I shake my head. I said, thank you all. I'm tired of this. Don't get me wrong. Yep, yep, yep. Her glee is infectious. I ask where she would like to go. I'm heading to the Badlands, I think. I want to see the Bridge of the Betrayed. Oh. If you haven't already, you should definitely go and see it yourself. You'll want... To You'll want the northern badlands southwest of here. Oh, okay. I nod, try to keep directions in mind, and... Uh, damn, I don't even know how to say her name. Is it Elizabeth? Elizabeth? I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm trying not to say alpha fucking bet. But, like, it doesn't even look like alpha bet, but the bet is fucking me up. Anyways, maybe I'll see you up there. Oh, oh shit, she stepped off. She, she meant that shit. She was like, I'm out of here. Oh, what the fuck? What type of mask is that? I am Ifa, the innkeeper of the camp. What can I do for you? Do you have any tasks that need doing? Say goodbye. Fuck that. I'm looking for someone specifically, bro. I'm not trying. I'm not here to be a uh, buddy buddy with you fuckers. I'm trying to find who I was talk supposed to talk to. You. Oh, is that who I gotta see now? Oh man, I, I guess I do gotta go do other shit. God damn it. I didn't realize that's who I was supposed to talk to. And I'm going up here because I saw something blue. There it is. With that. Hey. There we go. A dust firefly? Oh, that's cool. How was that the person I had to talk to? I don't believe it. Who is you? Ah, there goes a machinist. You're late. I've never met you in my life. I'm perfectly on time. Nah, I ain't gonna say that. For what? For our meeting one another. You ought to have come here sooner. I asked the Machinists how they know me. I do not know you. Not yet. Perplexed, I wait for them to explain themselves, but they seem to wait for the same. <laughs> Briefly, I feel a hint of shame as I remember times I have been late among the Ibexi. Things I have slipped up in doing. But I dismiss my, thought, my doubts as I recall that I have no idea who the strange Machinist is. I asked them. My name is Utara. I fucking knew it of immediate rev relevance to you is that I am a friend of Saizo. I asked then if Saizo alerted them to my impending arrival. Perhaps she looks out for me and sets waypoints and uh, whatever. No, no, no. 
It was your hover bike. I heard it for the first time months ago and felt the shape of its voice, of her voice. Sorry. I tell Itari that it, is, that it was Nazi moon they heard for Saizo and I only built her a few days hence. They waved their hands at me in a hurried dismissal. Did Saizo teach you so little? The voices of our machines are e eternal, more ancient even than their forms. I hear, I hear them, as I always have, and yours I thought would revisit me sooner, but here we are. Now let us speak of why you have come. Our, uh, our needs converge atop the wind tower. Tell me more. Sometimes something has stopped the tower working. I was hours away from going to see it for myself, but UNC Moon came after all. Go there, mend what is broken, and soothe what is hurt, and I will give you what you seek. I ask Utari if they know what I seek. I omit that I might not. A direction. I'll be waiting for you. Travel swiftly and safely. I say goodbye to Utari. All right, so we got to go to the wind tower and find something, but we're going to go ahead and do that next time. I hope you enjoyed the level. Um, I'm enjoying the game. It doesn't seem like there's action in this. It just seems like it's an adventure game, but that's also fine. A nice change of pace. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If you enjoyed, I hope you liked the video, and I hope you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.